This is lesson 1.2 and we're going to learn how to filter results. Now the general idea here is that you've got the ability to ask for many, many, many kinds of results by doing a simple Google query, right? Do a query, get a million results. The challenge is really how do you filter that down to the stuff you care about? And this lesson is how to filter down by looking for particular colors in the image. So the general idea is to pose a query, that is, ask Google a question for a bunch of images, and then filter by different properties. We'll start with color, but I'll show you some other things in, as well. So for example, we can do a query like fossils. Show me some pictures of fossils. And you can see here what we've got are a bunch of beautiful pictures of fossils. But in particular, maybe I don't want these fossils. What I'd like maybe is fossils that have a particular color. I'll show you how to do this live in a second, but, but look at the image here. The screen shows you that there's a set of color chips and a set of options that allow you to say, let's look for fossils that are primarily white or primarily gray or whatever. So what you would do is to click on one of those color chips, and then that allows you to filter by color. Here, I've filtered the fossils return set by white, or you can change it to some other color that you'd like. Let me show this to you live. Let me do my query for fossils. I'm going to switch to images by clicking on the image tab. And now I've got this beautiful set of results. To get to the tool to filter by image, I click on search tools right here. So I click there and you'll see the different options appear. I can filter by size, by color, by type, or so on. Here I want to focus on color. Click on the color option and you can see that set of options. So let's do that filter by white. And now you can see these results are primarily with a white background or a white context. I could change that to a different color and say let's look for ones with a primarily black background or black color. And we get, unsurprisingly, lots of fossils with a black surround. So we can change this now to filter by different colors for different kinds of queries. So here's a query where I've done the query for Tesla. And you can see it's a mix of cars and, and crazy scientists and uh, dis discharges of all sorts. But what we can use now is some information to realize that color helps us understand context. So, for example, one of the ways we can filter is by the color purple because lots of pictures of Tesla coils are purple in nature. Let me show you what that looks like live. Okay, so here I've done the search for Tesla and you can see the results are slightly different than the picture I showed you just a second ago because things change and now Tesla cars are super popular. But we're really looking for purple colored things. So let's click on the purple tab down here and you can see now we've got purple Tesla cars, but we've also got more of these electrical, electrical discharges like that. So this is really nice because now we can start to filter by other kinds, other properties. One of the things I mentioned was the ability to filter by black and white. So let's click on that. And all of a sudden we've got black and white pictures and we're starting to see archival imagery as well. So we're starting to see pictures of Nikolai Tesla, old x-rays and so on. So what's nice about this is once you've done this kind of work, all of a sudden you realize that, for example, red often means sports cars. So Tesla plus red, you get a lot of sports cars. That doesn't surprise me. But often you can get those archival images in the black and white space. So let me show you that live too. So here I've done the black and white Tesla search, but I'm going to add one other filter. Remember, the key idea here is the filter, reducing the space from millions to just tens or twenties that I can handle. In this case, I want to search for another kind of filter, in this case, for faces. So remember, black and white, Tesla, faces. So what do we get? We get a lot of pictures of Tesla, the, the crazy inventor. So this is unsurprising. But there's a really nice feature here, which is if I click, for example, on this picture, you see it zooms in and gives me a little bit more context, including over here on the right-hand side, a bunch of related images. So these are all black and white, pictures of Tesla that are related. So you see what you can do if you change your query slightly by say adding the word coil, Tesla coil, you can start to focus in. This is another version of that filtering idea. Go from large, add a term, add a color filter, add a feature filter like face or archival line drawings or something. 
if you do this in that black and white space and we add the word coil, it'll shift again. So let's do that live so you can see this. So here we are, we're at Tesla. We've got the face feature turned on, so I'm going to turn that off to show you any type. But what I'm going to do now is add the, the term coil, and now you see that. Lots of diagrams show up here. I'll click on the first one, and then I can click on related images, and you can start to see all these things down here. I'll click on the bottom right, related images, and guess what? I've got a lot of black and white schematic diagrams of how to build Tesla coils. Careful with this, they're kind of dangerous. So now you're at a point where you can try to go off and do activity 1.2. Give it a try. See if you can make color filtering work for you. This is an important skill because we're going to continue to add more and more filters as we go along through this course. Give it a try.